In this lesson, we're going to be using Sprite Lab, a bit of a different tool to explore in some foundations of programming. Let's get started. This is code.org. Let's get going. Make a prediction. What do you think will happen when this code runs? When run, make a new... Okay, so I guess we're going to make a new tumbleweed sprite at 399. I bet this is the grid. So yeah, if we hover our mouse over here, notice the numbers, the X and Y. So I bet that's the location. Let's see, 300 for X, 99 for Y. Oh, I guess it's down here. Oh, so maybe almost exactly in this spot, maybe it is that one. And then what do I do? Because code runs in order. Sprite tumbleweed begins to tumble. So I think it's going to make a new tumbleweed and start tumbling. Now, students, just be aware, once you hit run, you have to submit that answer to your teacher. If you're my student, you won't get to change it. I will get access to your answer. So make sure you're confident before you hit submit. Also, make sure you're using your own words. I want to think about this with you, but use your own words. What do you, I believe a new sprite will be created... Then the sprite will start to tumble. Let's see. But uh onward. All right, let's make a fish tank. Change the tumbleweed sprite into any kind of fish by clicking on it, okay? Be sure you also update the sprite's costume. Okay, so... And then sprite... Oh, so I changed the sprite here, but now I need to make sure that I'm telling it. So make a sprite, it will make a fish. But right now I'm telling it to make a tumbleweed spin. That would be an error. We don't have a tumbleweed. So let me say make the fish spin. Ta-da! Awesome. Onward. All right. The fish is getting dizzy. Oh, no. Change the fish's behavior so that it swims left and right. Use the block to leave yourself or your teacher notes about your code. Okay. So right now it's just going to spin. We need to go left and right. So I'll keep making it. Sprite fish. Yep. Begins. Oh, wait. Look at this. Spinning. Swimming left and right. So I'll get rid of that guy. And let me drop this in. So I think we'll make a fish that will create that, uh, that sprite's created here. Then we ask the sprite to swim or the fish, the animation, left to right. Awesome. All right. Our fish tank needs some water. Use the set background color to make the background any color. We recommend blue. Okay. Well, code runs in order. Um, should I put it here? I could. Oh, yeah, that does it. I might set it at the top, though. So right when the program starts, I'll set the color. And I don't know, whatever blue I would like. Or that blue. Awesome. Onward. Video. Next. All right. The fish is adventurous and wants to meet new creatures in the sea. Add another fish to the tank. This sprite can have any costume other than the one you're using. Okay, well, we know how to make one. So sprites. And yep, let me grab this. I'll go ahead and, uh, well, sure, I'll put it down here, I guess. And then I'll make it, yeah, I could mess with these numbers, but I'm fine with where I put it. Okay, and let's see. Cool. What do you want your fish's new friend to do? Add a behavior and watch them go. Oh, awesome. So behaviors, I'll grab this. And yep, that's right, because I want this sprite. Which sprite? This fish should begin to, um, I guess I'll have this one spin. So if I drop it here, let's see. Wahoo! Go fishy, go! Onward. We've added a lot of new blocks in the toolbox. Play with them and make your fish tank special. Oh, I'm just going to have fun then. I'm going to do another fish. Uh, sure, a red one. Um, and then I'm going to say... I'll change a color. Cool, let's try that. Ha <laughs> ha! Wahoo! And notice that color changed. Grow, grow, grow. Onward. 